everybody, welcome back. Um, this is Gina. If you're new to my channel, uh, welcome and thank you so much for uh, subscribing. Today I thought I'd share with you a couple of projects I'm working on, um, or have been working on. One's, this one's complete, but this one isn't, and I just thought I would share with you guys a little flip through. These haven't been listed. I'm going to wait <clears throat> because I'm kind of in a remote location now. I'm going to wait um, to list these when they're both done, but we'll start with this one. These are both Artie Mays kits that I've worked with in the past when I was on her design team. Um, I think this one is the Blue Butterfly kit, but I'm not certain, but you can go to her site on Etsy if you're interested in these. So. Okay, so let's, um, this is actually made with a, a file folder, um, one of the manila file folders. Um, you can purchase them anywhere, as you guys know. And I've just done the spine with some muslin. And then this is the front. I added a little book plate. These were the brads. I, I think I mentioned this to you guys. I had ordered these brads, and they came in. They're pretty large brads, so... Um, and unfortunately, I think I've got about 200 of them. But um, so yeah, I've just added those. This is one of the little um, tiny um, clothespins from the Dollar Tree that I've altered, and I've just clipped that there, and that holds this other little flap in place. And I'll show you that when I get to it. So on the front, I've just got some black stitching. Yes, I got my sewing machine added some more muslin and then some of the shipping paper and then one of the images I love uh, I love this kit and then that's been backed with another one of the um, background pages that comes with the kit which is really pretty it's kinda like a a sunburst yellow or a gold yellow so if you flip this over um, this is how it comes and I've made this is one of the elements from the kit and I just added a little magnet there so that that um, stays shut and then inside I've got a little tag and I'll probably um, go over this in more detail when I've completed these and they they are listed but inside here is just this butterfly just fussy cut and made it into another tiny pocket and this is one of the stamps that I purchased recently and then on this page I've done a, a little muslin ruffle and some more stamping and just bits of uh, scraps to make this little tag so because I don't have a die cut machine and I have been debating on the evolution um, the tiny one but I'm not sure I've got enough room so I'm holding off on it because of that. I just purchased the little tags from Walmart. Uh, Dollar Tree used to have them, but the the last couple of Dollar Trees that I've managed to come across on our journey haven't had them. So I just ended up buying them from Walmart. So that's my solution to uh, the die cutting. I'm very limited, um, as you know. I miss my my big shot, but. I'm just debating if I want to go with the, the small evolution. I had purchased it in the UK, and when I realized I was not going to be able to afford to ship it to the US, I just went ahead and returned it. Um, so it is a really nice little machine. It's the mini one, but I still don't feel like I've got enough room right now to invest in that because I've just had to purchase a small printer here um, it's one of the little Canon portables and maybe when I show you guys a little tour of my studio um, I'll, I'll get that little printer out and show you. I'm really impressed with it. It's, it's quite pricey and unfortunately I'm going to have to purchase the ink for it. I got really spoiled with the um, HP ink plan because it was I always had ink on hand and I now I'm going to have to plan ahead a little bit more to make sure that I don't run out. So, okay, so we've got this little flip here, and then again, another little window tag. Uh, I used some packaging, so you can see there's a little bit of um, shine to that, and, and I would probably have preferred the tracing paper, but again, I'm on the hunt for just 
a small amount of it because I, I just don't have room to hold a whole pad. Uh, you can't believe if you have a studio at home, you've got all these things on, on hand, but to do it in an RV is very tricky. Um, even just the copy paper, I've got now a large pack of the cardstock and a large pack of the copy paper, and all of that's adding weight to towing. Um, so I have to be really conscious of that. All right, so we take that little clip off there. <clears throat> Flip this back over. Oh, yeah, here we go. We've got a um, another journaling card here. Practice my stitching. Um, I have not made... Actually, I just realized I'm missing a, a, a large journal card for that, so I will have to go back and add that. So it's good that I went through this because I can see some things I can add to it. So here, this is, um, I just put some sewing pattern tissue, you know, the tissue pattern over, and then this is one of the images from that kit. Beautiful. So here's a nice um, little journaling space here. And then here, this is just an altered index card. And I like to, I really, when I'm creating... If it's a guest check or an index card, I really like to sh to leave some of it showing so that you know that's what it is. Because to me, if not, it could just be a piece of cardstock, and you think, well, what's the point of having an index card then? So, um, but there's journaling space on the back of that, and that just fits in this uh, little pocket. And I'm just trying to remember. It's been a while since I did this one. I believe um, this was an envelope that I altered into this little flip. And then this, again, let me just make sure I'm in frame, guys. Um, this is another element from the kit. And then this, I just collaged that. So there's another little space to journal on. Created a pocket here. And this is um, from the kit. And I actually just kept it all together, and I, I didn't ink it yet because I was going to come back to this. But I think I'm just going to keep that as another place to um, journal. Or I don't know, now I'm thinking that I stuck this in here to do something very different. So I don't know, guys. That may end up um, being changed around as well. <laughs> I can't remember. It's been a while since um, I did this one. So that flips back up. <clears throat> then we're over to this portion. Um, and if you're wondering how this is created, I've got a playlist for altering file folders. And although this one is different to the other, it will give you the, <clears throat> the general idea of how to get started with this. So Check the uh, playlist for that. Um, I've got a couple of different ways that you can take a, a, a file folder and alter. So again, here's just another little pocket. Um, and then another journaling card here in this one. And as I'm flipping through this, I'm trying to remember what what elements I added to it. And again, this is an envelope that's been added to the file folder to get those extra flips. So, And then this is <clears throat> the little highly sought after uh, punch from Stampin' Up! that's retired and I don't know why they don't bring it back. Everybody wants it. <laughs> so this flips up and again, journaling space here. Um, yes, this was a business envelope, and what I did was created a pocket here, and again, this is just another index card that I've collaged, so you can do some more journaling. And I, I created a pocket there, and then this will flip, and then as you can see, another pocket here and a pocket here, so... And then on this side, uh, what I've done here is... This is a freebie from Artie Mays, and I just made a little a little notepad here, a couple of sheets in there, and what my thinking was on this, this can just be replenished. I made a little 
place for this to slide down in. So when, when this is full, you know, if you just jot down things, then you can just create another one and pop in there. And, um, and then this is one of the pockets. And then this is um, a little <clears throat> pocket here that you could add something to. You could journal here. And I've just tucked this in here. This I left blank. Um, maybe I'll add a pocket to it, but my thinking was it would be a nice place to put a, a nice photo. Because it's small, and I thought this would be just maybe for an event in someone's life that they would just want to journal and add a couple of pictures to. So here um, i got some shipping tags, so at least I've got some of this size tag I can work with because I can't do the die cuts. Um, and I will add some kind of trim to that. I've just been kind of um, holding off until I had an address where I could order some seam binding, which is such a shame because I've got so much of it in my lockup, but um, that doesn't help me here. So I'm going to have to order some neutral colors that will work with multiple kits. Um, yeah, <laughs> those are the challenges of uh, creating on the road, but they can all, everything can be overcome if you're you think it through. All right, so on the back, I added a pocket here, and I got some of the. I've ordered some of the linen th twine. Um, that should be coming. I'm hoping in the next couple of weeks that will arrive from Poland, um, because I've bought this <coughs> hemp thread from Walmart and um, I will probably replace this with the it's just stiff and I've tried working it you know really working it to get it to loosen up um, but I prefer the linen thread so I just went ahead and thought oh I'm gonna buy it which is crazy again I've got loads of it in the in the storage unit but I won't be back um, to be able to go through that and and bring some items over so there we go. This is, and, and I haven't named this journal yet either, guys. Um, with everything going on, I, I haven't even had time to think about it. So that one, I just, a couple of things I've spotted now that I need to go back through and do. <clears throat> and then this one is the um, Purple Medley Kit. I think this might be my favorite, but then again, I've said that. Oh, so many times <clears throat> with uh, our emails kits and then she'll come out with something else and I think oh no this is it <laughs> but this I've added this is going to be the front and I've got life is a grand adventure and um, I'm I just I'm loving how this one's coming out this is some of the shipping paper um, again I I I try to purchase things that I know I can have multiple uses for and this this is one of those I thought, yeah, I'll make room for one of the large rolls from the Dollar Tree because I can cut those out. The only challenge I'm having is at home, because it's on a roll, um, you know, when you unroll it, it wants to keep rolling up, and I would always press it with an iron, and I can't do that now. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do when I get organized is just cut down some sheets, um, probably... I don't know, maybe like a 12 by 12, and then I'll fold them, put them under some heavy books to flatten them out in advance, and then, you know, I think that's going to be easier. <clears throat> but this is one of those, excuse me, I'm going to get a drink. This is one of the stamps I got from the Tim Holtz I can't remember the name of it, but I'm loving that. Again, another purchase that I thought I should be able to to do a lot with that. And so th what it is is just a little pocket. Did some stitching and then just added the little things around it. I think it's a really sweet little pocket. And this was some of the um, trim that I picked up at one of the thrift stores and again it's all gathered up and those can be really bulky so I just snipped off a bit and then I had to cut off the part where they had gathered it 
so that I could still make use of it because I like the brown and the purple. I think that's a beautiful combination. Um, all right, so this is, um, I'm trying to remember what to, sorry guys, I'm trying, oh yes, this is an, um, another altered file folder, but when you're looking at it, you probably wouldn't recognize that because I've, I've come over and covered all of the manila with the shipping paper and stitch it in place, so I will tell you that was quite a little uh, task to do that, but I like the way it looks. And this one's not complete. Um, this, I won't probably be doing anything to it. Maybe some ruffle along here, but I wanted to leave that so there would be some journaling space. And then um, I've reinforced the um, folds with muslin. And so here's the first flip. Again, this is not complete. I'm working on it. Um, this is an envelope flip from the kit. I'll push this out of the way. Um, and then I've made a little altered <coughs> paper clip here. Gosh, I hope that hasn't stuck now. So that will hold something or the recipient um, can always add something to it. So here is going to be a pocket. I'll do something here and um, this can be flipped either way. I'm not sure because I kind of like that extra layer because you've got one, two, and then this. I kind of like that. When that's complete, I think that's the way I'm going to have that to open. So that's where we are with that. This will flip down this I've got space to do something and I've got space up here. Let me just make sure I'm still in frame, guys. Yeah, I'll zoom this out a little bit more. Um, how, oh, if you guys would, let me know how the lighting is now because I have purchased um, some lighting in here. So just let me know if you feel like this is better. Um, unfortunately where I'm at there's not a lot of privacy so I can't have the blinds open for the natural light um, so I'm hoping that this is an improvement on the past the previous you know videos so alright so we've got that that flips down and then over and here I've got one pocket two pockets and then I just did some crazy stitching because I was kind of practicing with my sewing machine to see how uh, I'm still working on getting some of the tension right on it. Yeah, um, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it's just the tension I'm still trying to work out because I haven't had a lot of time to play around with, but I'm sure that'll come with time. Uh, but I do like having all the different stitches that I can work with. And then this I think this may have been the page I put on Instagram. I think it might have been, but then I don't know. <laughs> but this is another um, part here, and we've got one of the large kits uh, tag. These are three separate, but I just thought it would be nice to have the additional writing space, so I've tucked that in the pocket. And then we've got another little journaling space and a tag that you could you could write on the back of those and then just a butterfly there and then some uh, muslin that I've stamped on and added some various laces and a little button there and then this is going to flip down and here we've got another big pocket back here and oh this is the one I put on Instagram um, and I actually messed up because this element was supposed to have been here um, and I I don't know I just got distracted came back and I was working on this area and I just I put it down there and then I realized, and I thought, well, that's okay, because I do like what I've got on the front anyways. But this, there's no other pockets within this, just the large one from the file folder that you create when you, when you do it. So I just think it's really pretty. 
Alright, so here at this part, we've got another one of the envelopes from the kit. So there's going to be a pocket here. I created another big pocket here that I can add something to. And so this flips back. And then this... And so this is the front of the journal, and I will be creating some kind of a closure um, with whatever is left over so that I can have it come across here because I think it's going to be really bulky by the time I get done. But then you flip it over, and this is the back. So here, um, no, I thought there was a pocket. There's not. So this opens up. We've got a large pocket here. And then this flips down. This is a tuck spot. I've still got to embellish this. And then this is just a little tuck with another uh, kind of like a secret pocket there. And yes, I believe I left this open. Yeah. This, so this will be another, or is it? No. I think I've got a pocket back here as well, but it's a small one. But yeah, I think I've got to, um, yeah, I've got to re-glue that. That's come on down, so yeah. All right, so we're going to have a pocket there, a pocket there, a tuck spot here, a pocket there. And then I'll do something on here. Mm, probably a pocket over here so that we can have something kind of, you know, maybe maybe just something hanging out here, but I'm not sure. We'll see. So that's the back. So it's coming along. Um, I'm just not getting as much time to create because I have to pull everything out into the dining room and... Um, and then I don't, I can't, I don't have the ability to just leave it out. Um, so I'm still trying to figure out because our schedule is four days on and four days off, and we we want to use some of those days to go out and explore the area and do some camping. But um, what I what I might do <coughs> is the night, <coughs> excuse me, the last night I'm working, get everything out ready, and then work a couple of the my days off. And then I'll have to put everything away, probably. But I don't know. I'll figure out something. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see how it all works out. But um, anyways, guys, I just thought I'd come on here and share what I've been up to. And um, I haven't got any other videos ready for um, little projects, so bear with me on that. Um, I'm trying to complete these, but I will be posting. Um, I'm gonna try to post something every week. Even if it's just coming on and, and doing like a little chat and you guys can see what I'm up to, I'll at least try to do that. But there may be weeks that I, that I can't for whatever reason because one of the weekends we want to visit um, Glacier National Park and that's going to be, that will take all of our days off to make that journey to it. And um, so there might be a couple of weeks if we're traveling to various places that I can't do it but other than that I will try to post something and I'm trying to get a schedule to where I'm posting every Wednesday but again that might have to alter slightly so I hope you guys are doing well I hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you soon bye